Did you know that in the middle of Holy Week on Wednesday, the scriptures don't record any events? I think that's purposeful. You think about what was and what is to come, and there needs to be a pause. Something in the middle where not only Jesus in the midst of all of it, but the disciples as well, and us as readers. The very first time, imagine, reading this story of how Jesus comes into Jerusalem. Everybody's cheering. Everything is great. And by the end of the day, the, the cheers have gone to jeers and everything's chaos. Monday, Jesus goes into the temple and, and he says, you're misusing my name. This isn't what I'm about. On Tuesday, there's this whole day of controversy with all the Pharisees and, and others who are trying to trip Jesus up in some form or fashion. And then comes Wednesday. Silence. Pause. Awaiting. There's so much to come. Jesus knows this. We as readers don't quite know it yet, but we need to kind of catch our breath. And we're waiting for something. And the question is, I think for us, 2,000 years later, is what are we waiting for? Are we waiting simply for Friday? For a day where we celebrate the atonement, the, the, the sacrifice that Jesus gave for our sin, and that our focus is there? Thank you, Jesus, for saving me from my sin. Is it just Easter where we skip right over Good Friday and just say, we know the end of the story? Or... Is it participating in each day, understanding the fullness of what it means to, to participate with Jesus in his death and resurrection and to know new life? Too often we skip one part of the story or the next. And my encouragement to you today is that you would pause. Say, Lord, how can I enter into every step of what you have for me, not only this week, but for my life? As you move me from a story of death to resurrection, a story where you're making all things new, will you join me not just in pausing and waiting, but participating in the fullness of Jesus making all things new this week and for the world?